everyone, how are you guys doing? I am doing great. I just went on a trip to Vancouver in BC, Canada and I got some books and a bunch of other random stuff. So I thought in this video I would show you what books I got and also I hit up David's tea so I thought I would show my teas as well. Um, I got some other merchandise which you can probably see on my Instagram if you follow me. Um, links are in the description box. So the first store I went to was Chapters because that's kind of my go-to. I just love going in there and looking at all the non-book stuff as well, like the scarves and the cups and all those sort of things. So I went to two locations and I got two books. The first one I got is The Roundhouse by Louise Erdich. This is the Olives edition and it's really pretty. It's very plain and simple and it has just a quote on the back which says we passed over in a sweep of sorrow that would persist into our small forever. We just kept going. So I started reading this one in the hotel and I am on page 78 and so far it's pretty good. It's a little bit of a heavy subject matter because the mother gets attacked and it's about uh, First Nations and that sort of thing so I really like it so far. And then the other book I got from Chapters slash Indigo was The Girl in the Spider's Web by David Legercrantz. And as you know, uh, Stig Larson wrote The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series, the Millennium Trilogy, but he died. Uh, so this guy is carrying it on. So I'm curious to see what the writing's going to be like and if it's going to be just as good. I really like the character uh, Elizabeth Selander. She's kind of like one of my idols. <laughs> so. Hopefully that'll be good. Then I went to a new bookstore to me. It's called Book Warehouse. I'll link their uh, website in the description below. And they were kind of like a small chapters. Um, you know, they had like a lot of books, obviously, but they also had a lot of like pens and little trinkets and things like that. Uh, one of the things that I bought that I really liked was a journal and it was only about $12 and this is what it looks like. It has the magnetic clasp here and yeah it, in the back there's a little pocket right here. Where is it? There it is. And yeah I just really, it comes with a ribbon too. I just really liked it. Um, really caught my attention so I thought I'd get it. They also had a really big Haruki Murakami section which made me very happy and I found this one that I didn't have. It's a bunch of short stories. It's called Blind Willow Sleeping Woman. And there's 24 stories up in this one. It says here are animated crows, a criminal monkey, an ice man, as well as dreams that shape us and the things we might wish for. From the surreal to the mundane, these stories exhibit Murakami's ability to transform the full range of human experience in ways that are instructive, surprising, and entertaining. So I'm really stoked about this one. My, the whole reason that I went to the book warehouse is to try to find some cheap computer science books. Um, the only book I found was a book that I was actually in the self-help section, so I'm not too sure what to think of it. but. It's called Algorithms to Live By, The Computer Science of Human Decisions by Brian Christian and Tom Griffiths. So this would be nonfiction, obviously. Um, I think it's just trying to compare how algorithms are in our daily life and how we use them without realizing them. So we'll see about this one. I was hoping for a more like a textbook, but hey, more the merrier. And this last book I got, oh, I still got the sticker on it, I got it for 10 bucks. Um, they had a staff picks shelf. So I saw this and I had never seen this book before. And it's called Mort by Robert Rapino. And it is about a cat. Well, I'll read you the back of it. The war with no name has begun, with human extinction as its goal. The instigator of this war is the colony, a race of intelligent ants who for thousands of years have been silently building an army of sentient animals that would forever eradicate the destructive, oppressive humans. A former house cat turned war hero, 
Mort is famous for taking on the most dangerous missions and fighting the dreaded human bioweapon, EMSA. But the true motivation behind his recklessness is his ongoing search for a pre-transformation friend, a dog named Sheba. When he receives a mysterious message from the dwindling human resistance claiming Sheba is alive, he begins a journey that will take him from the remaining human strongholds to the heart of the colony, where he will discover the source of EMSA and the ultimate fate of all of Earth's creatures. So, doesn't that sound cool? Like a, a cat war hero against these giant ants, maybe saving humans? I don't know, I thought the title was cool, or the cover. And the bookmark that they gave me has cats on it too. So those are the books that I got. Um, as for my David's Tea Hall, I got Carrot Cupcake. And this one has carrot, rooibos, cocoa shell, cinnamon, apple ginger, licorice root, natural whipped cream, and apple flavoring. And I haven't tried it yet, but it smells really good. The next one I also haven't tried is called Just Peachy. And this is what the tin looks like. And this fruity blend is packed with juicy peach flavor. Try it over ice with a splash of champagne for a fresh summery spritzer. It's a real peach. This has apple apple pomace, sweet blackberry leaves, peach, and yeah. So that one I'm really excited about. Next one I just tried tonight is called Cardamom French Toast. It's a black tea. And this one has black tea, cinnamon, lemon peel, coriander seeds, cardamom, coconut sugar, cane sugar, and that's it. Um, I was a little bit like, hmm, because it's a tea that contains sugar, but it's not actually that sweet. Um, so it's a good little dessert tea. And the last tea I got is Midsummer's Night's Dream. I really, really like this one. It is very tasty. Um, it, the citrusy mint tea is refreshingly magical with sweet apples, cool spearmint, tart gooseberries, and petals of marigold and rose. So that pretty much describes it. Um, the ingredients say apple, gooseberries, spearmint, marigold blossoms, sapphire petals, rose petals. It is so good. So those are the uh, books and tea that I got. Um, I had a really good trip. It was a good trip for self-reflection and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I haven't gone to Vancouver for probably 10 years. I think it's been that long. Yeah. I haven't been off the island for like 10 years. <laughs> so there you go. Um, this video is way too long already, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, see how you're doing. Let me know if I missed anything over the past few days on booktube, and I'll see you guys later.